Welcome to the High Consulting Hotkey series. Building dynamic business models is only half of our firm's approach to helping your company operate efficiently and effectively. The other half is our educational series to help you and your colleagues become better acquainted with the most powerful tool in business, Excel. In this lesson, we will learn how to format Excel spreadsheets without using the mouse. As we go through this lesson, we will format our AFC analysis example from the Movement Hotkey lesson. Before we start, I would like to point out that each hotkey we discuss will be in a green box on the top of the screen. A plus sign means you press the combination of keys simultaneously, whereas a comma means you hit the keys individually in the given order. The basic formatting hotkeys are commonly used throughout the entire Microsoft Office suite. This includes Word, Outlook, PowerPoint, etc. We start with Control B. This allows you to bold the cell. Using the control movements we covered in the previous lesson, we can highlight the headers, use control B, and bold multiple cells at once. Control I prompts Excel to apply the italic format in the same fashion, as does control U to underline the selected cells. If you ever wanted to apply the strike through format, control 5 does the trick, although I rarely ever see the need to use this feature. The hotkey to apply a single line border to a cell or group of cells is Control Shift 7. Or, if you want to remove a border, press Control Shift Underline. The underline key is directly to the right of the zero key at the top of your keyboard. In this next section, we will focus on formatting numbers. While there's an infinite amount of different ways we can format a number, Excel is assigned hotkeys to these five as the most basic number formats. The first hotkey is Control Shift 1. Excel formats a cell as a number with commas and two decimal points. Next is Control Shift 2. This will convert your cell into the time format. Notice when I use Control Shift down to select all the rankings, then I use Control Shift 2, numbers 1 through 16 all change to 12 a.m. This is because Excel calculates time based on the portion of the day that's elapsed. Every 100th is equal to approximately 14 minutes. For example, 0.5 is equal to 12 p.m. noon. 0.75 means three quarters of our day has elapsed, otherwise 6 p.m. Dates in Excel have an unusual metric as well. Excel considers the number one, January 1st, 1900, and then counts each day thereafter. If we put in the formula equals today, it will always display the current date. We are 39,000 plus days past January 1st, 1900. So we can highlight this cell and change it to the date format by pressing Control Shift 3. The next two number format hotkeys use this symbol on the respective key. For instance, the Control Shift 4 hotkey will format the cell with a dollar sign commas, and two decimal points. Likewise, Control shift 5 will format the cell as a percentage with no decimal points. The formatting hotkeys discussed thus far are great for everyday formatting needs, but if you want to become incredibly efficient at creating presentation-worthy spreadsheets, you must learn to navigate the format window. We can get into the format window by pressing Control 1. Notice we have six tabs, Number, Alignment, font, border, fill, and protection. See the dotted line around each tab title? That means I can use the right and left arrow keys to move between the formatting sections. If I hit the tab key, I fall into the first level of formatting within this section. In the number section, I can use the down and up arrows to scroll between the number of types. Subsequently, I can continue to tab through my formatting options. If you need to go backwards, hold down the shift key when you press the tab key. Notice, after I've tabbed through all my options, I can highlight OK, then cancel, and then finally I'm back to the tab titles. Suppose I want to make a format change to a specific portion of the cell. I press F2 to edit the active cell. While holding Shift, I use the arrow keys to highlight my desired selection, then hit Control 1 to make the appropriate changes. Finally, I hit the Enter key to exit the active cell. If I want to make the same format changes to all cells in this worksheet, I use the Control-A hotkey. 
The first time I hit Control A, Excel will only select the data region I'm in. Then if I hit Control A again, it should select the entire worksheet. I can now press Control 1 and make the necessary format changes. Learning these hotkeys will take time and practice. To help you become more efficient, download one of our free tests to time yourself. When you go back to work, try and incorporate these hotkeys. And don't start using them all the first day. It's going to take time. Start with the hotkey that's most applicable to your business. Trust me, once you realize the efficiencies, you'll begin to incorporate the other hotkeys at a much faster pace. The next hotkey lesson will focus on the action hotkeys. Please contact me if you have any questions about this lesson or are interested in Excel training for your employees. Thank you for your time and consideration.